Good morning. Good morning. Oh, why are we here for her? Don't come with that energy. How are you guys feeling today? Very I'm good. Feeling nice. How are you? Hmm. Where's Leah? I don't know. I love her. You did Robert? Why would you leave her? She the one that wanted to do this therapy? I just texted her. I don't know. There's one there's one more of us missing. She said she wanna wait. Okay. All right, we'll get a few minutes to prep and then we'll start when she be here. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Are you late and you're the one that wanted to be there? Bro, we started at nine. Yes. God, please mind your business. Do y'all just want to be together and don't want to be in a poly or something? Because y'all you know. always trying to... Bro, we're just saying you're the one that initiated this therapy session. Okay. We weighing this lady and you a whole hour late. It's okay. We'll pay her for another hour. Get off your phone. Why are you trying to get up the phone? You didn't because even start Because we need yet. therapy. Like, why are you on your phone? We didn't even start. Would y'all let the lady do her job? Or are you going to sit here and argue with her all day? He on his phone. I hope this works. Yeah, all right. It don't look like it's going to work. Me. This is all right, good morning. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling blessed. Good morning. I'm tired. At this point, I don't know how I'm feeling. Okay. So, Leah, you initiated this therapy. What is one of some of your top concerns? It's just problems after problems. If it's not one thing, it's another. And I'm just, we're supposed to be engaged and all of this stuff. And it's just shit after shit. Can you curse in here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why do you guys feel like you're seeking treatment? We don't know if this is going to work. Jeremiah, we're going to start. She don't with you. know if this is going to work. Okay. No, okay, let's have some order. Jeremiah, we're going to start with you. Why do you feel like you guys need to seek treatment? We don't need to seek treatment. I feel like they dragged me in here. I don't know what this is going to do. This is not going to help us. Like, we could work together and fix our problems. Why do we have to talk to a random person? That makes no sense. She doesn't well, even know us. This, this lady is has a degree in this type of stuff. But she don't know us. Maybe she's going to get to know us so that we can figure this out. Maybe she can help us come to a conclusion because at this point, when we're all together trying to figure it out, it doesn't work. Because of you. Not because of me. Yes. Everybody you know, else is just talking. Everybody else just feels some type of way too. And then when I get to saying how I feel, oh, it's a problem. Because she likes to storm out. Like she don't like to just sit Because y'all don't like to keep talking. Y'all like to make excuses. Okay, we're going to go to the name. The name, how do you think that you guys got here? Honestly, if I'm in a relationship, either you're going to be with me or you're not. Honestly, I don't know. Like, I'm willing to work everything out with them because if we're in a relationship, we in a relationship. Like, I'm not no kid. I, I want to work it out with them. I don't think we need therapy because if we can get through it, we can get through it. If we can't, we can't. Why, why is we come to therapy? Why do you feel like you need to seek treatment to, in order for this relationship to work? I really don't feel like I need to seek treatment, but I do got a question for y'all too. But, like, do y'all feel different since y'all, like, with us two? Like, what do you mean that we, like, do we feel different? Different how? Like, do y'all feel like y'all gotta move different? Like, you know, cause a lot of things, like, y'all don't communicate with us with. Um, and it's not just y'all two no more. It's four of us. I feel like we've been good on communication. Besides the speed dating, I can understand that we didn't like ask you guys like y'all yeah, yeah, wanted us to or talk to you guys beforehand. But I feel like other than that, like. Yeah, but I feel like even other than the speed dating, it'd be little stuff that y'all could like. I mean, this is still like a work in pro progress for all of us, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, if communication is something that I need to work on, then I'm glad you're telling me so I could work on it. Too, like, you know, because that's why I ask, because, like, it's new. Mm -hmm. Me too, but what about you? Same. That's it. Like, I don't really got a problem with, you know, being in this, and I don't think we need therapy, but that's just a question that I never asked before. Yeah. Yeah. So, question tonight. Obviously, that's something that's been bothering you just for you to call Jeremiah and grows out. How long have you been feeling that way? Well, like I said, 
I gotta work on it myself because like sometimes I be forgetting. Like, like, you know, I gotta tell them too. So it's like, it's just a natural thing that I gotta get used to. Cause I'm not used to being with poor people. Okay. Leo, why do you feel like you guys need to seek treatment? Um, honestly, my whole thing about this was because we're engaged now and you know, we need to make sure that we're all on one accord and it's okay for us to talk among each other. Yes, but I feel like therapy will, will help no matter if they feel like they don't need it or not. At the end of the day, I feel like therapy will help us get our feelings out and we don't have to like bicker. It's like right now, if we were at home, we would be arguing. But now we're all listening and it's like, it's just the order. Okay. Rose, what's some of your personal reasons why you feel like you are here today? Um, the first reason is because Leo initiated it. I feel like whatever she feels that we need to do as a couple, I'm gonna support her and back her up because mainly really like Danae and Jeremiah are the ones that are just saying like therapy is not real or whatever. So I'm really here for Leo to support her and back her up, but also I feel like personally, I could piggyback off what Danae said about us still having to like learn a few things with each other. And I feel like therapy could help us communicate that better because it is true that we do end up arguing most of the time instead of just talking like I know we can. So I'm just here to see like if our communication could become more effective. Janae, question for you. What's the difference between your relationship with Leo before the poly? Um, because like with Leo, she, we been together for seven years. So it's like, she understand me. A lot of people don't understand me. Like sometimes Rose might not understand what I'm saying or the way I come off or anything. And it could be a problem, but it really don't be a problem to me but she got to understand me. But Jeremiah, he pretty much, I don't know, you just understand, he just understand me. Like, he just like go with the flow. But like, it could be different things. Like, even like sometimes I don't understand Rose or sometimes it just be different stuff. So I just got to get to know like what they do like and what they don't like. And that's just that. Leo, do you think what's the effect between having one individual versus having three? Um, truthfully, like the emotional part, like, you know, you got to deal with three different emotions and you got to figure out how to, sometimes it might be all three at the same time. Sometimes it might just be two at the same time. So it's like versus one person, okay, you can, you know, it's easier to deal with than three people coming at you at one time or just two people coming at you at a time. And, Honestly, I you think that it's just the emotional part for me. Who's the most emotional one out of the whole poly relationship? Mm, I feel like everybody have their day, but if I have to pick, it will probably be out of um, Jeremiah and Danae. <laughs> That's crazy. So you, you think you'd be getting thrown up under the bus? That just blame me for everything. I guess. Can I'm you give us an example me. of the one of the emotional? Don't be negative. Come, well, can you give us an example of one of the most emotional situations that you had with Jeremiah? Okay, it's not really like a situation. It's kind of like if. I'll tell you. Every time I express how I feel, they always say that I'm sensitive or I'm emotional. Every time. Do you feel that you're sensitive? I mean, like, sometimes I complain about something, like how if I feel like somebody's not paying attention to another and they just call, they, I don't know, they would just call me out for it a lot. But Rose, when they tell you, me certain things about how they feel, I always listen to them. Rose, do you feel like Jeremiah is emotional? Um, emotional is probably not the right word. Maybe just a man who is intact with his feelings and ain't afraid to, like, express them or show them. But not talking about the name Leo because, like I said, that's a work in progress for them as well. They never dealt with men. But um, I just feel that so society makes it seem like a man can't 
show his feelings. But if you deal with a man, then you know what it is. So I just feel like it's gonna take some time for the man Leo to realize that. But I feel like used to like, dealing with girls. I feel like he emotional though. Like he a man, like you said. But I feel like he emotional. Cause I'm the same way. I feel like we the same people. Don't get mad, but like I feel like you is emotional. Well, honestly, because like also for like a stud as well. People think it's rules to be in a stud. Like they want to be guys. And, and I'm right, not a stud. I'm a girl. You know. Okay, but I'm just saying. Like normally people will call you a stud, but I'm just saying normally. Um, people think that it's rules to be in a stud. And they want to be men. So when then they not like so hardcore. Like you know, like that. They be thinking like she's soft, but sometimes she can't be very emotional. Like she's very emotional. Mm -hmm. So Danae, what is? your title in the relationship no i'm not a label like i'm a female that dress how i dress that's it at the end of the day i know i'm a female okay so speaking on that in a social media world it's in regards to youtube instagram that stuff went viral multiple times in regards to jeremiah and danae and a lot of people will refer you you're okay Halita? i mean rose this right here. Um, you guys have went viral mm. multiple times, and people consider you as a stud. So, how would you? How do you feel about that? Honestly, I'm the type of person where, if I see some on the internet, I don't really care. Like whatever you think about me, even you as a therapy or a therapist, I don't care what you think about me. You. How you feel about me having a man? I'm asking you a question too. No judgment here. See? So, I don't People care on the about what gonna nobody say whatever they want to say anyways. I don't care about what nobody thinks. Because whatever I do, I do it because I want to do it. So, I don't care. But society, they make stuff seem like, oh, you a stud, you a stud. Uh -huh. Girl, if you don't, you get a man, you a girl at the end of the day. But, I mean, some people don't like that. Some people be sneaking. I'm not the type that'll sneak. I'm going to be open with my man. Period. So, Leo, question to you. How do you feel that the day's roles has changed? Um, I don't really think her roles has changed because Renee has always been a person that just do whatever she want to do and say whatever she wants to say. But not like rude, rude or anything like that. Just always playful. Like that's just always been her character. So I don't honestly don't feel like anything changed about her. She just got a man now. How do you guys balance your social media life versus your personal life? It's hard. I feel like it's gotten harder now because it's like if people don't see us all together all the time, it's a problem. Like before, people were happy with just seeing us as an individual. Like. I could just be doing something by myself and it was okay, but now everything is like, where's Danae, where's Leo, where's Jeremiah? So it's kind of like, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of irritating. Like, even though these are my partners, at the end of the day, it's like, I have my own life outside of being inside of a poly relationship. I don't want people to just look at me and be like, oh, that's the girl from the poly. Like, I just want to be Rose sometimes. Yeah, I can agree with that. And also like, when we're out publicly, if it's just me by myself or it's me and Rose or just me and Danae, they'll get the acting like, where's the other two? Like, I understand that we're in a poly relationship, but at the end of the day, we can still do stuff individually, couple to couple, and however we want to do it, we can do it because we're in a poly relationship. And I don't think people really understand a poly relationship. And it kind of just makes me want to like, I'll be hiding in my close friends and like on my, my personal Instagram page because I don't, It'd be too much sometimes. The world be too much, so I just block it off. Yeah. Sometimes we just put our phones on D and D and just spend time with each other, mm -hmm. quality time, and go out or something yeah. like that. Right. Yeah. Oh, and another thing is, people always um, think that me and Jeremiah don't like each other because we don't show affection. But at the end of the day, some people just don't gotta put everything on the camera, like, and that's just something that we don't do. Because no. we don't want to, but that doesn't mean we're not doing it behind closed doors. And Leo, like Leo doesn't show PDA. Yeah, like she's, she's not like that. Yeah, like she's always been like that, even when she was with Danae. So yeah, it's like, 
But I always have to tell like the people like we oh uh, we've been together. Like she don't do that with me. Y'all don't see us just be kissing. Me and Rio used to like we did YouTube before that. Everybody know that. We don't just be kissing on camera. Like it's not like that word. Like me personally, I feel like I don't have to do all of that on camera. If I don't want to do that, I don't have to do it. I can do whatever I want to do behind closed doors, but I don't necessarily have to do that. Like they know I'm with her. I don't have to sit up here and just kiss her face all day and just yeah, be like yeah. that's just not me. I'm not like that. Like I do my shit behind closed doors. I don't like to be all on the cameras doing shit like and that. And I, I hate the fact that people be like, Oh, Jeremiah, uh Janae your favorite. Just because you see me and him doing stuff, I'm his I'm his favorite. I'm just saying they say anything. Yeah. Like we could do one thing and they'd be like, oh, that's your favorite. I feel like basically what we're all trying to say is that although like none of us really care about people's opinions, sometimes seeing all those negative comments sometimes do kind of just be annoying to see. Mm -hmm. And I think that would go, would go for anybody even if he wasn't in a poly relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go into the way, okay? How did the engagement start? How, who initiated it? I engaged to them three. And um, you guys should tell what happened from there, Danae. Why are you saying me? Because. No. I told you already. So we could talk to her and tell her what happened with okay. you. Okay. What? Tell her. That your mom disagreed with our marriage. Okay, she disagreed with our marriage, but we grown, so she got her own situation. If she want to marry who she married, she not about to ask me. So I told him already, like, I don't care. So your mom is the root of you guys' engagement, is it fail? That's what he's saying, but I told him, like, okay, if you want to do this, we can do it, but... I mean, and then after that, why are you not saying things anything? started going on, and oh. then Leo said that she doesn't no, even want to do that. You are double guessing it, though. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, that That's what I'm saying right now, though. After that happened, Leo started double guessing our marriage. Yeah, only because, like, you know how it's like, although we're not getting married right now, it's still like nervousness and stuff like this. Like, what if, what if, what if? It's like an overthinking kind of thing with me. It's not like. I don't want to do it, but I just want to be for sure and secure. How is your relationship with your mom, Vene? Um, I can't really explain it. Like, she like um, my friend, my mom. Like, she a lot of stuff in one. So I can't really explain it. But that's that's a perfect example. Like, she, my friend, my mom, a lot of stuff in one. Before you guys got into the poly, did you guys evaluate your values when it comes to family, when it comes to your future, finances? Yeah, we all said that we, like, we're all really close to our family. We have, like, a big relationship with our family members, so. Well, I don't. I don't. Well, I, I meant, like, parents-wise. Yeah, parents-wise. No, but... yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about her mom's decision in regards to you guys' engagement? Um, I feel like it puts Danae in a tough position, and I wish that it wasn't like that because I don't ever want to see Danae hurting about anything, but I also feel like Danae is handling it in the best way she can because it is true. Like, her mom has her own life to deal with. And it's not like her mom would ask her for her blessing in her marriage. So I feel like Danae's making the right choice by still wanting to do whatever she wants to do with her life. And we're gonna support her the whole way. Do you guys feel as if you guys are committed to spending the rest of your life with each other? That's why I proposed. I feel as if there's stuff that we have like in place right now that's kind of securing that. Like I don't feel like we would be taking those next steps that we are taking if we wasn't like in it for the long run. But 
you you just never know. Yeah, I personally feel like don't nothing last forever. Like everything has a season, but I'm not saying that we're not going to last. But I'm just saying like on the more serious side, everything like you don't you just never know. So if it was only you and Danae together, you wouldn't think y'all gonna last forever? No, I would think it, but I'm just saying you just never know. Like you, you don't know. Like a lot of things don't last forever. Anything can happen. And I'm not saying like we will break up, but I'm just saying anything can happen. Danae, why are you looking like that? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what he's thinking. Why are you looking at me for? She's the one saying that we're not going to last forever. No, she's not I saying that we're not going to last forever. She just she's got just, doubt in us. That's no, what I'm saying. She's just being realistic. How about you though. just be positive? Like, well, I am if, positive if, if it's me, like I'm thinking like, like I will, yeah. man, I will get through anything with you guys. But now y'all saying that y'all. So tomorrow, what? I won't be here forever. But no, I'm like stuff like that. Like you just but that's know. different. Right, that's what I'm saying. You never know. Anything can happen. I'm not saying just as see, far as death. See, but I'm see, saying here. You just talking about some dumb shit. No, I'm not. I'm just being Talk, for real. Like Okay. Uh, like, no. why is you even bringing that no. up? I'm talking dumb shit. Fine. Like, don't nobody want to hear that? Okay. They never want to hear anything I have to say. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying, like, who want to say if I tomorrow, like? I'm just saying, because y'all saying I'm doubting the relationship. I never said yes. that we wasn't going to last forever. I said anything can happen. So I'm giving y'all an example of what I mean. Okay, you could have gave another example. But maybe I wouldn't have gotten it. Okay, okay, okay. Man. This would be too much negativity. So y'all telling me we couldn't have talked about any of this at home? Well, Leo brought us to therapy. Did anybody feel like this worked? I don't care about this. If we were at home, y'all know that we would be screaming at me. Right now, we're all just talking regularly. Is that, am I right or am I wrong about that? You're right. right. You're the one that walked out on the last argument. Right, because... At this point, I feel like it's not getting no more. We're just going to be bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until we just say forget it and move over it. It's just like, okay, we have a problem. We just say forget it. We're over it. We're not really finding a solution to it. And that's the honesty of it. So what? What, what you been writing down in that notebook over there? So you guys have separated quite some time as as individually as as far as a couple individual I'm gonna correct that. You guys have separated multiple times on separate vacations, outings. How do you guys feel about that? Well that's our past. And the it is still normal to me. Yeah, it doesn't like, I don't like if they do something, I don't care. If we do something, I feel like they shouldn't care. Huh. It's just the fact of us being all together. You shouldn't like be like, oh, you doing this and that. Like that's just childish. Like come on now. Like you know what you signed up for. It's not we all together. Yeah. Do you guys feel as if you guys need a break from each other sometimes as a poly relationship? I honestly think we get a lot of breaks from each other. I don't think it's a bad thing though. Yeah. Sometimes. I just want to be with Leo, or sometimes I just want to be with Danae, or sometimes I just want to be with Jeremiah. But as long as we all come to a communication and to understanding that, like, that's not a problem, then it should be fine. Jeremiah, how did you feel when Danae and Leo took a personal vacation and you guys was not invited? That was already planned. That was for Danae's birthday before, like, because she'd been once to Puerto Rico. And me and Rose just accepted it. Like, we could have went, but we just decided to say they wanted to do it together, so it was fine. Yeah. I feel like it all boils down to that. Like, if we want to go, we could really go. Yeah. It's not saying, like, we, we, it was nothing like they're excluded from. Like, if they wanted to come, they would have came. So, Leo, how did you feel when Jeremiah and Le uh, Bro, when, how did you feel? When Jeremiah and Rose went on vacation without you two. If I'm was being, that excluded as well? No, it wasn't excluded. But if I'm being honest, shit, I felt like I was in Miami with them. 
shit, I'm looking at the stories, they calling me, we lit. Like, that's just how I feel. How do you guys feel like y'all have to deal with the social media world feeling as if you guys are not a real poly? I don't care what they say. I, I know what we do. That's how I feel. So overall, you guys you have your own agreements in regards to mm. you guys' personal and separate relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, whether we do things the right way, whatever the right way is for social media or the wrong way, people are still going to talk and have their own opinions. Like, And another thing I just really want people to understand is we all, like, them two been together for years before we got together. We Us two been together for years when we got together. So some things are just natural. And we already came to the conclusion that we already accepted that. So, yes, we're still working as a poly, but some things just come natural and we're not upset about that. Like, that stuff doesn't make us angry because it makes y'all angry. That doesn't have anything to do with us, but it's just our reality and that's just how we're going to be. You guys have no problem with going on different vacations separately, but however, when the Nate and Leo left, you guys feel that it was a need to fill in their position. Why was that? Oh my God. They definitely felt the need because they wouldn't have done it if they didn't. There was no need or nothing. It was just it for was a video. Yeah, and it was lap dance. She it was rock paper number nine. That girl kissed me. She kissed me. Like, what do you mean? Did we just went in a lap dance? That was it was for a video. We knew YouTube. We do YouTube. What do you mean? We do YouTube. It's not that big of a deal.